Hi, this is going to be a quick demonstration of a couple of the uh, different things we're going to be doing in the paired watershed uh, lab. This, this lab is kind of a raster analysis lab. We're going to explore some of the different surfaces that we can make from DEMs, uh, namely slope and aspect. Um, the premise is that it's a paired watershed study and we have to determine or quantify different characteristics of slope and aspect to see if it's a viable candidate for the paired watershed study. So the first thing we have to do is actually create a DEM. It's really common when you download DEMs from online sources. Uh, they can be such big file sizes that they come in in tiles. And then the tiles need to be stitched together because the surface needs to read as one continuous um, piece of information. So um, I give you a couple of these tiles here. This is LiDAR data. It's two meter LiDAR data. Go ahead and add them both to your map and you'll see this seam running down the middle. That's because they're individual tiles, so they're separate. Um, but you can kind of see the outline of this watershed that we're going to be working with here. Um, what you should do first is go into the properties and check out um, some of this information, which if you don't do it first, you have to go back and do it behind the, or after the fact anyway. So. And we're going to notice that it has one band. This means it just has a um, value and a count field in it. The cell size is 2 meters. And then it's a 32-bit signed integer. That's the pixel depth and type. We're going to need this information for the tool that we're going to run to stitch these two data sets together. Uh, okay. Oh, and we should also look to see what the coordinate system is. We can probably guess that it's um, NAT83 UTM zone 12, but we should verify, and it is. So we're going to open a tool called Mosaic to New, to new Raster, um, if we get some cooperation. And you can use the drop down and just put in both of those uh, raster data sets. So what this does is takes multiple DEM tiles and then mosaics them together, stitches them together, and creates a new output raster. So here the tool asks us for output location. Um, this is just the folder that we want to put stuff in, so just single click and add it. Um, this is where we're going to name it. I like to keep things short, so I'm going to call it Ogden DEM. Um, sometimes I might call it like the Ogden 2 meter, so that anytime I look at this, I can remember that this is the 2 meter LiDAR data that's more specific. Um, the spatial reference is the coordinate system. I've got it bookmarked, but North American um, datum of 1983, UTM zone 12. Um, the pixel type, remember 32 bits signed. So we need to stick that in there. The cell size says it's optional, but you're always better off um, putting it in there. And number of bands was one. And then you can leave the rest of it and run it. And you'll see that now that line is gone, we can turn off the old ones, and we just have one working um, DEM here. And you can see the range of values ma uh, matches the maximum min and minimum from this one. I'm going to go ahead and remove these so I don't get confused later.